Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as Poland Lithuania. And in this episode, we have captured Stockholm. Now we must push the Swedes out of this territory and hopefully down the line, destroy their entire faction. So let's get on with the destroying this force commanded by Hinder Topelius. Uh, it's got a lot of depleted troops in it. Lots of the units just aren't that good. We should be grand. So we have two full armies in Scandinavia and we are generating another in Stockholm itself. So I think what I'm going to want to do is push one towards Christiane Norway, use one to maybe take Finland. And once we do that, or to be honest, even after we take Norway, see if we can achieve peace with Sweden. Because we've now that Russia has broken their alliance with us, I think I kind of like Sweden to stay alive to give Russia somebody to fight. It's because we, we do also need to uh, attack Denmark and get rid of them, and potentially the Dutch as well. Right, so. Howitz is going to sit back here and drop carcass shot. This lone 12 pounder is going to not be super useful. That terrain features out of the map. Um, I think they're going to they're slowly trundle up with the rest of our formation. So let's set up our line. The objective is to storm forward with overwhelming brutality. Then let's put my grenadiers on the right flank, skirmishers on the left. I'm going to have my pikes back up the center, push through, just in case the enemy tries to attack us then my overwhelming amount of cavalry is going to attack quite aggressively on the flanks. And my general is going to hold until the center is secured. There we go, push up. Oops, I didn't optimize these guys that much. Skirmishers advance. Slowly, if they could be a bit of bait to lure in those horse guards, that's okay. Enemy, how it's fires coming in already. Run my grenadiers. Get my cavalry to run down the right flank quite rapidly. Form square. Halt the skirmishers. This unit chamfer itself back. Skirmishers give these. Horse guards of volley. Ooh, didn't like that one bit. Excellent. Accurate skirmish fire has done exactly what we need it to. 12 pounders trundle up to the top of the hill. Excellent. Form up. Dragoons chase down the cuirassier just to keep them, or attempt to keep them from recovering. Cavalry push up. This cavalry swing in. Pikemen are maintaining. Well, they're, they're keeping my guys covered. Dragoons just chase them down. Let's bring a regiment of horse back into the fight. Enemy line infantry is advancing towards my skirmishers. Keep my cavalry moving because they're going to get isolated and destroyed by the pikes if I'm not really careful. Grenadiers up here. Keep running, keep running. Okay, howitzers, that's dropping off, popping off carcass shots, trying to attack units in the center. Hussars, try to go after some of these weaker units. You men try to attack the mercenaries. 
Dragoons go after that Guerrilla Mercenary unit. Pikemen are being slaughtered. Hey, my skirmish has got charged, but then pushed them back. My pikemen just haven't got involved. Get Mr. Stanislav Pontiotki over here. Ooh, okay. Cavalry recover. Dragoons recover. We do have enemy heavy cavalry on the field. I mean, we always had it on the field, it's just not been a problem right now. Ooh, you kill that infantry. There's only 16 of them. Okay, the pikemen have caught this unit. Let's try to get them to recover as well. Pokemon form up, ready, we've set, pillory, round shot for heavy cavalry. How it says, switch to round shot, lob shells in against the pikes. Great, actually things are going okay. Kill the last of them. My general, pop out the rest of that line infantry. Missiles are doing well against the pikes. You're chasing down the militia, I believe. That's all my cavalry committed. Do you trigger for that unit of militia? You're damn right, we're going to continue. My lancers aren't in the fight. You're getting them back out. Artillery to cease fire. There you go. My lancers. Get back out onto the field to try and pursue and destroy somebody, anybody. Something like that. Just because these are a army in the field, if we can mop them up, then it will prevent them from causing too much um, concern for us later on. Also my generals bought. Okay, this is a this unit's all spread out. Let's use all three cavalry units here just to mop up the pikes. Usually it is all about just having large numbers of cavalry just to aid pathfinding, because it can be really inefficient at times. Four, three, two, one, zero, okay. Okay, you go help. Okay, everybody go. Oh, no, no, you don't. There's one last plakeman for you guys to kill. Everybody else attack this regiment of pikemen. One left. Nice. That was a really good victory. Really good victory. We just smashed them. Okay. So then what next? You've been general's been killed, you've been pushed back into the woods. Um, just try to chase after them. I don't know if the cavalry can bring them to battle. They can. Excellent. But ultimately, you're going to combine, recombine, then go after Norway. So let's get these guys replenishing. Awesome. Oh, no. Replenish. Let's dispatch a regiment of horse down to Malmo just to kick the Swedes out of the port. We will want. A number of militia units to occupy some of our ports. Well, let's try to repair some of these buildings to start trying to earn a bit more cash from them. There's a Swedish army. Yes, 
he might march you guys down here to keep an eye on these chaps. The garrison at Stockholm is growing, so if this army marches southwest, we should be fine. We're not upgrading the infrastructure, that is good. Okay, this militia unit. Put them into one of these um into one of these forts. This next army is growing. Although I'm not quite sure what their target's going to be. We don't have any easy access through allied, ter allied territory to get to the Netherlands. They may, may well just get committed over into the Americas. So we're going to keep sieging. Because we don't have any money. We're just going to let things continue here quite quite nicely. Um, in terms of research, nothing on the horizon to immediately worry about. Let's hit and turn and watch things happen. We do need to be somewhat aware of the fact that Russia can will, will be may be able to declare war on us at any minute. That's and that's kind of inevitable. I think we do need to start fortifying our borders. If we can take yeah, if we can take Norway and get oh that's gonna suck. It's gonna cut down on our trade. The garrison at Paramaribo is coming up to try and attack us. That's not a good idea. Uh, we definitely want to try and capture this territory plus Curacao from the Dutch. This will earn us some more, more money, but I think we do need to really start to grow the Polish fleet somewhat and try and gain a bit of naval dominance in the Baltic and in the Mediterranean so that we can protect our trade a little bit better than I'm currently doing because right now our fleet is very limited but I think the problem is we've got so many threats on land that right now just maintaining the territory we've got is taking up more of our effort um we're going to advance so I'm going to keep my guns here I mean, we're going to advance up to the next, up to a, a better position to mow the enemy down. So we want to advance up to about here. I'm going to put a large militia block on one flank. Pack my militia up with pikes, get my buccaneers together, which are getting quite experienced now. Get my buccaneers, the lancers. Light cavalry on the right, general in the center. I mean, that's a really interesting bit of terrain the enemy's got back there. Oh, once I deploy my troops, I'll I'll show it. Something like that. Fucking ears. There's gonna be a lot of enemy skirmish troops hidden around. So it was this thing. This would this is a really interestingly developed feature. But if you put a pair of set of guns up here, that'd be pretty awesome. Okay, there we go. Native Bowman Auxiliary. Militia. Line infantry. General's bodyguard. Okay, let's. Make the gunners just shoot things. Uh, the Mount Tribal Auxiliary is a good target. Okay, let's take left flank and run the map like so. My light troops can also run up. The lancers stay behind the hill. There we go. There's the enemy troops. So round shot slamming home. The mountain tribal auxiliary is wavering. Our right flank is going to curl in. Let's 
There might be skirmishes hiding around here, but that's not a problem. And there we go. A lot of enemy skirmishes on this flank. Throw my pirates up to engage them at pistol shot, and then give them a give, give, then give them a charge. My lancers around the rear. If they stand long enough, that is. And my buccaneers to unload a volley of pistol shot. I want to see if they do it. Come on. All right. Draw your pistols out, mateys. Lancers. Engage that. There we go. Pistol shot. The entire enemy force is just collapsing. Native auxiliary being chased down by buccaneers. We cannot avoid our sabers. Chase them down. Artillery. Engage. Unit. You guys. Try and attack the militia. Crash into the side of them and get some more kills. Now to tribal auxiliaries come back and kill the enemy general. My god. Commit the general in here as well. Hey, who's that? Hey, everybody. Fire it will off. Slaughter, what is that? Oh, the tribal auxiliary is still in the fight. No, nope, they just got shattered. Is that everybody? I think it's everybody. Let's get the light foot out of the way. Let's just let my cavalry just annihilate them. Uh, get my artillery to cease fire. Chase down the native or auxiliary. We've captured a building! So my cavalry have ran into a building somewhere and now they're kind of stuck. <laughs> Some of them are stuck. Yeah, just slaughter them. Chase down the irregulars. I was hoping I could get my get my lances up to experience level four. They appear to not want to do that. Routing through uh, tr enemy troops routing or retreating through towns is always a nightmare from a pathfinding perspective. Two guys. Got them. <laughs> they had to um, sally. Ultimately, their strength would just, every turn would just decrease. There's no hope of, um, of any reinforcements coming. So they, they were kind of forced to do it. But they have no reserves left. At least certainly none of any value. See, if I could, I would like to try and militarily support the... Um, oh, you're going you're to kill our sixth rate. It's fine. Actually, you brought him into your fleet. No matter. Uh, do not attack. And withdraw. Oh yeah, they are coming this way. Not close enough, however. If we need to, we can bring the arm one of the armies back. But I'd like to see if... Well, one of them is going to definitely head northwest towards Norway. Try and capture that territory and bring them into the fold. I think we might just have to fight them off near Stockholm. Not ideal, but this is what we've got. Our Corland, they're just kamikaze, the fleet. Well, a fleet, a single ship into the Dutch. Well, they're bringing their ships back from the Med. Yes, there is war afoot in the Baltic. You don't need to worry about those those sorts of things. The 
Barbary states are raiding the Austrians. Good. Yeah, not ideal. New port emerges in Crimea. Excellent. Okay, let's get I to occupy that. Enemy raid. Yeah, lots of raids around Sweden. That's okay. So you men withdraw. Some artillery, some infantry. I mean, we've got a lot of good infantry as well, so I don't think it's going. You're necessarily going to be in a good place. Okay, let's get you guys to attack towards Norway, and then this force can catch up because they are cavalry. They should be able to outpace them. So Rostock's blockaded, not ideal. Our sixth rate's been destroyed, again, not ideal, but not terrible. Okay, extra troops for this force. Anyone else? Don't think anyone's wandering up to them. So you've got your skirmish. Okay, I think you just need. Okay, let's get a grenadier. Another unit of interesting infantry. Get a mercenary unit. And then two units of line. Then you're up at full strength. Cool. Okay, let's upgrade the Ordnance Board to keep our um, our uh, artillery research ongoing. Hey, the, get the, the uh, garrison at Paramaribo has collapsed. So let's bring this sloop over to guard Demerara. Let's repair the government building. Let's get the mines built. And then spend some money on replenishing our troops. Great. That's an extra 510. Uh, through trade, we'll be adding oh, lots of growth, lots of pop growth. I think what might happen is that when we take um, Curacao, we're going to destroy the Weaver's Cottage and replace it with a church school, so we can try to get an agent through here and get these converted towards Catholicism. But that's quite a quite a good little um, Polish empire being built right there. Sugar warehouse, more sugar for the trade markets. Let's see if we can get more trade, actually. We're trading with a lot of people, but you could always trade with more. Hostile, hostile, understandable. Ottomans. Uh, all this tech for peace. Um. Hmm. No. I'm not willing to let the enlightenment of Polish science be used against us in such a manner. So let's send one of our uh, light galleys to do some raiding off of the Ottoman coast to teach them what it means to make such an insulting offer. Yikes, you may get back into the port. Then we could probably send another light galley just to sit in Alexandria, just to keep that down. They're earning zero money from Jerusalem. Cairo is 1800 and dropping. We can't see what Damascus is like, but I imagine it's not great. I mean, this army could go down here and join a bit of a push towards Ankara. That's enticing. Um... You're recruiting some extra troops, that's fine. Yeah, we should be. Well, I mean, we will be okay if they attack us. You better come down here. No, you haven't got any money. Get within range. Next turn, we'll attack them and then start replenishing. Dutch crown is ours, which is super. Trade income's 16,800, but importantly, tax income's really high. Still not enough to cover our um, overall base, but that's okay. Yeah, we're losing. Lo yeah, lots of our trade relationships are being um, damaged by the ongoing blockade. And again, I just spent another turn not building any ships. <laughs> yeah, right, right now, Austria has no proper enemies they can face so i think that's part of the reason why they're just kind of clustering near my near my territories they want to fight me 
But we're allies. And unless I give them an opportunity to break their alliance, they're not going to stop me. Ooh, are the Dutch going to bring extra troops into the fight? Perhaps. Spain's taken Ankara back. But we want to keep the... Uh, keep the public unrest going like they've immediately ungarrisoned the city itself so that's asking to rebel again we're still converting the city to um catholicism so that's that religious unrest isn't going to go away unless they build um church schools no we're not going to ally mughal empire go away Let's see what venice is going to do Holland's raiding French ports, which is great for us. Blockading Dutch ports. Good, Corland. Okay, Mammal's been blockaded. That's fine. New town emerges in Brandenburg. Let's get the craft workshop built there. Okay, Ukraine. Okay, let's just keep boosting our military recruitment in those territories. Don't got to worry about building armies there yet. Okay. So let's. This army is fully reinforced. Or well, is reinforcing. Upgrade. Um, the plantations, although it's only a low yield. Okay, maybe let's upgrade the government buildings first to maximise our possible tax income. They still both need roads, but we're not going to worry about that yet. This army is at full strength. I mean, you may, you might just march down to Istanbul with two full armies. We're going to be in a really good spot there just to take it. Okay. Just keep growing these these uh, forts here. Because that we will have an, we will eventually have enough strength here that if they do try and attack us, we will be able to quite easily push them out. Or at least defeat the attacking forces. So here is Sweden. We've got a reasonable force. So if I take everybody except the militia, you can handle that. Great. So list force. Let's recruit. Uh, I can't recruit any howitzers because you don't have the ability to make them. Okay, let's march you forwards. Actually, first of all. Well, I say that. If I push you up towards Evert Hultgren, and we attack... Oh my god. They're really suffering from attrition. They've lost their income, and now desertions are rife. Their army is completely weak. I think if we can destroy this army and capture Norway, we've got a real opportunity here to force Sweden to make peace. I don't know why the this is <laughs> taking a bit too long. Um, yeah, if we can yeah, destroy their army, capture another city, and force Sweden to make peace. And then they can focus on fighting against the Russians. And that'll be good, because that keeps the front open for the Russians to fight. And they'll leave, they're more likely to leave us alone. Awesome. And limber the guns. Infantry formation set up. Elites on the right. Let's give them a good chunk of cavalry. Dragoons and the fresh general on the left. Okay, let's... No, come on. Run towards the enemy. Units on the flank, just advance slowly. Artillery focus on their enemy the enemy heavy cavalry. It's these gunners. Reload and fire. Get some good hits here if you go, if the shot, shot goes down the line. Exactly like that.
Okay, keep running. Don't give them an op We're not going to give them an opportunity to advance, although it appears as though they are interested in that anyway. Our cavalry can run up the flanks. All these are individual artillery units. So we're going to be able to... We're going to be able to engage the cannons from range. range rather from range doesn't really sound quite right push the infantry up really aggressively enemy cavalry is wanting to be committed the guards heavy cavalry are engaging us that's fine spin around the flank Get my dragoons against the lance against the uh, provincial cav Regiment horse, push forward. Cavalry push forward. How's their cavalry doing? The one unit of their cavalry has been defeated. Everyone is positioning, ready to fire. It's a weak unit of Swedish pikemen. Spin this cavalry unit around to engage this line infantry unit in the rear. We're gonna lose infantry in the due to from fratricide, that's okay. Attack the demi cannons. Slaughter the infantry. Gunners engage the general's bodyguard in the center. Don't let them gain that toehold. Form up. Slaughter them. Yep, there they go. Retreating en masse. The general had the right idea in trying to put our territories under threat, but I'm afraid it is not going to work in his favour. Lancers are there, dragoons are doing stuff, regiment of horse. Don't worry about the general. Just knock out some of these smaller units. Killing as many of this militia as you can. Uh, you men, cease fire. Kill the pikemen. Dragoons are not committed. You men, general, attack the regiment of the line. Good. You guys both attack the 28th. I think this force is going to get annihilated. They're going to get away. Nope. That's a good amount of kills. That Swedish force just got culled. And ultimately, really kind of does the Swedish a favour because it cuts down on their, um, their like army retention bill. Hey, the, generals, the, the general survived. Well, the lances will cut him down. Oh, he still survived. Oh, lances. Kill them. This force, because they're a full army, they'll be able to just demand the surrender of Norway. Now let's see if this works. Sweden. Peace. Offer peace. You know, I might do that. Gives them a bit of extra... Gives them a bit of extra firepower to try and hold off the Russians from within Finland. Although, they are bankrupt. There's a lot of clamour for reform. They're war-weary. Looks like they are in trouble. 
this force just hold the ground and then come back. Yep, Stockholm's all good. And Norway is ours. Let's get rid of the major fishery. Eight, uh, six turns till Trondheim grows. Handy. Right. Let's push you down to Malmo. Because then one of our next objectives is going to be... We might actually sit here. Just ready to face off against this Danish army. Okay, let's hit end turn. This is going to boost our economy quite nicely. I mean, what if the Austrians going to go after Sweden? Entirely possible. They're going to evict us out of all of their ports. So we're still going to keep them under blockade. Mm, lots of troops shuttling around. But yeah, they have to keep the they have to keep their capital garrisoned, um, unless they want to deal with another rebellion. I don't think they do. Go on, Sweden. Fortify your hold on Finland. Oh, there's a Protestant school in um, Norway we need to destroy as well. There's some colonies are scampering around. We're not really worried about mainland US right now. Um, we will, we're much more likely to invade Canada. Well, we will invade Canada once we deal with the other Austrian, uh, the other Dutch uh, force. The uh, territory. Dutch territory. That's the word I was thinking of. Well, from that, everything's going very nicely. We've got good a good collection of buffer states to our west. We've researched national debt and we've gone straight on to Wealth of Nations. That is fine. Odessa has developed. Let's get the light galley over to here. Let's boost that port as well. Krakow has a modern university, so I imagine the people are going to be a bit grumpy about that. But it does give us some really good technologies. Ukraine's created more troops for the garrison or the frontier forts. But the main thing is going to be about developing our. naval power in the in the Baltic. Although I probably want to build light galleys in my trade ports over time and instead focus on churning out some fourth rates for my fleets here. So can we leave move a militia out? Yeah. Just get a militia unit into Malmo. Can we move this militia unit out? I can up to Umia. Bring this force back. Good. Let's get some buildings repaired. Don't bother repairing the ports because they could well just get attacked. Get the boarding house repaired. That'll help with public order. Excellent. Have you got good roads? No. Let's get better roads for Sweden because this is going to be really important for our mobility. Bergen, let's build a trade port. Let's demolish the College of Divinity. 13,000. Okay. Let's get this force aboard ships in Demerara. Okay, attack Punda. Oh, wow, there's no one actually defending Punda. Okay, let's move the sloop back to Paramaribo. Let's get some better road upgrades as we've got a good amount of money left over. Okay, let's attack Punda. Let's attack the last Dutch colony in the Americas. And I think they still have Ceylon, so we could take Ceylon and turn it into a Polish outpost. That may well... Uh, bring us into conflict with one of the Indian factions later on, but ultimately we don't really need to worry about fighting in India in this campaign, because it's not a true world domination. 
I think that's always that's always kind of the danger. If you fight in India, you have to go all in on fighting in India. But in the Americans, Americas, uh, it's if you're fighting in Europe, you're dealing with lots of European colonies, so you're already going to have territories that you could attack without additional diplomatic fallout in the Americas all the time anyway. So it's what makes the Americas so lucrative to attack in this game. Gunners engage at max range. We're going to storm towards them rapidly because the enemy have um, mortars. My melee troops are going to whiz through the town. My militia are going to spin around the flank. All my cavalry is going to be on the left. Let's go get them. Just give my melee infantry effectively an order to go all the way back here. They won't get there, but just keep the, we want them to keep moving. Militia and all my cavalry just run. Artillery engage the militia where possible. Line infantry is better. The 12th Regiment will be able to start putting volleys in on the 4th while my melee infantry bounce through the town. Our mortars are focusing on my pikes, as is tradition. My line infantry is about to just annihilate the centre of the Dutch fighting position. Is the all form up. Present. Fire! Awesome. Come on, fire. Just keep my troops advancing forward. The enemy has stakes. Yeah, let's make my melee infantry walk to try and recover some stamina. Lots of artillery slamming home in the centre. There we go, there's the general's bodyguard. Okay, let's push forward. Fences in front of the stakes have killed a bunch of my guys. Not enough to stop us, though. Enemy generals been killed. Buccaneers charge the provincial militia. Army hearties. We have bayonets ready, but they don't. <laughs> They're not ready for the charge. Here comes more buccaneers. He made a bayonet charge the enemy buccaneers. God alive, that is... Yeah, that's... Yep, that's them. They're gone for. They're, they're, yeah, the Dutch are cleared out. It's this buccaneer unit that stands alone anyway. Can't seem to find the buccaneers. They are charging the wrong way. Attack! Oh, there's a Dutch unit. A regiment of militias come back. No, nope, not my general. Engage some of these units at long range with artillery fire. Got the 
fucking is going to use their pistols against my general. Not a, not a casualty. Get my next block of melee infantry to attack them. Not sure what you guys were doing. They were just kind of looking away from the buccaneers. Go on, you're killing my men. We're killing you and we're taking your territory, goddammit. More buccaneers to the rear. Ceasefire artillery. Pikemen leading the charge. In. And behind the bucket, behind the pikemen, buccaneers, sword and pike. Yeah, they're losing men fast. Yeah, now they're losing men really fast. This buccaneer unit is all that remains of the enemy empire. Yeah, they too are gone. So again, we took a lot more casualties than we needed to, but you know what? Sometimes I think these battles are just kind of fun. I never really, I've never really been one for playing every battle as as efficiently as I could. I mean, I save playing efficiently or as efficiently as possible when I really need to. In situations like this, let's just have a bit of slaughter. Okay, let's get rid of this military building because we are going to go after Quebec fairly soon. Start to destroy the Weaver's Cottage. Let's get cobbled roads and let's send a militia unit out to garrison Rebel. the port so we can get this repaired and get some of that sweet, sweet sugar out onto the market. Awesome. Okay, back into Europe. Yeah, I think I do have to kind of just keep the pressure up against the Ottomans because they are just kind of weak, really. Let's get you into here. Just keep moving our ships around their ports and just prevent them from having the opportunity to bolster their strength. Okay, let's boost this. Build the vineyards in Greece because you may as well. Everything. One of the few things you've got we can actually do with this amount of money. So Ukraine's fortified. That's great. Awesome. Okay. Lots of stuff's been repaired. Lots of stuff's been built. Cool. Let's hit and turn. Britain is on the move. Not towards us, though, because we're not enemies. I, mean, I, I just really want Austria to go fight somebody. Not just sit in and deal with... It's not just sit in their land and watch us. Yeah, with two full armies, we're in a really good shape here to advance, to advance in Ankara. Also, I might try to take Ankara and see if I can use that as the final lever to make get a good peace with the Ottomans. But what may end up happening is you may land an ex expeditionary force on um, in Amsterdam and then open up a front against the French, potentially. Marathas are going to do Maratha things. Morocco still exists, which is quite interesting. Normally Spain's dealt with them. An alliance with them. No, they keep... No. I am not interested in fighting in India. Sorry. Mughals, you will need to find a new ally. Ah, yes. And Denmark must be... dealt with. Saxony's going strong. Okay, craft workshop, 32,600 was our starting treasury. Pretty awesome. Okay, so let's build you up to a church school. Let's build the magistrate and let's upgrade the ports in our colonies. Then 
light galley in the Baltic. Let's ship this over to Visby. Visby is going to be made into a trading port. It could be a military port, but we've already got one, and we're not doing enough with it as it is anyway. Let's start building some ships ready to fight against some of these enemy navies. Malmo is protected. You could cross over into Danish territory. No, actually, they've just got a one really big garrison in the capital. Okay, Stavanger, let's build you up to a trade. Well, build a church school in Stavanger. Let's build better roads. Let's. Okay, I'm going to do much military upgrading in Stockholm. They're about to get some religious happiness, which is great. Okay, let's upgrade an industry building. Let's march Stanislav across the... Fr oh, God, no. Uh, there is nobody close enough to help out, so you're going to go back into Sweden. Malmo is going to try... And oh, no, actually, you can. Yeah. Okay, you've not got the movement now. <laughs> But next turn, this fleet can pick up the garrison here at Christiana and then drop them off of Copenhagen and bolster that attack. So you occupy that northernmost port. Let's get it repaired. Okay, we want to upgrade the Ordnance Factory to a great arsenal because we don't have the ability to produce howitzers in Sweden. Let's get a fur exchange built. And elsewhere, upgrade the Jesuit, co co Jesuit college to a seminary to maximise religious happiness, so that when we, or when we, when we start to get it, at least it, it will just be amplified. Two thousand. Let's continue the bolstering of these forts. Not mercenaries, solid chaps. But we want to start building some howitzers to get them over here. That we do want to start getting quick lime. I don't think we have an ordnance board built yet. Next turn. Cool. And a mistress for one of my. For August the 2nd. My king! Excellent. I think my ministers are all just really good. Uh, okay, I think that's everything we need to do. Probably want to build a fort around Berlin, just in case anything scary happens around here. But no tech on the horizon to worry about. Everything's going okay. I wonder how far we're doing on our objectives. We're halfway there. Cool, we've taken 20 territories. 19 territories. Okay, I think... Well, Reykjavik is attempting one, because it's the Icelandic rebels. So maybe once we've dealt, once we've taken Copenhagen... I might send an army up to secure Iceland. I agree, one to a military port. One to a military port and one to a trade port. Then we can start to harass Fran the French Atlantic coast. That might be a good idea. Right, let's hit end turn. Continue our advance towards regional supremacy. And we do need to keep building up our fleets. Again, I'm kind of doing it now. I am building four crates in the Baltic Sea. Yeah, they want to attack me so bad. Like, look! They want to attack me so bad. Don't worry, Ottomans. You'll have some problems once I start marching over towards you. I haven't really checked, actually, if our conversion to Catholicism is actually working in Ankara. They're stealing our techs, the scurvy dogs. I bet the Russians are going to do the same thing. Yep. The devils. Morocco. Wait, are the Morocco going to attack the Ottomans? I think they just did. That's kind of cool. I suppose they, are, they might be at war with the Barbary States. Courland are uh, just doing Courland things. 
our buffer states are doing their job. Day 6,000, a rake in French Guyana. Super not useful because they can't actually cross over into into uh, where we want them to be. Okay, let's, well, let's ploy them onto a ship. Let's get the ship to land them off of the Flora coast. And they're going to do, they go for a long walk all the way up the uh, east coast. And we're going to see what's going on. It's a British colonial army. Yeah, you can't make it all the way back, but you should be okay. Even if you're not, we don't really care. You're going to go for a long walk all the way up to Quebec. Nation destroyed Portugal. Spain's finally took out Portugal. About time. They do own Tunis as well. They've got a reasonable little European empire growing. Let's recruit some just some uh, 12 pounder howitzers for these forts yeah like, look at look they've just got an army sat right outside i see just like that let's recruit a general here and they are going to start recruiting some troops let's get some troops let's get a unit of Trabant cavalry get a unit of winged hussars get a unit of regular hussars start just start building up a small force here where they Crimea sending troops to the front that's good uh, building work Almost already done. They upgrade the Iron Master's works in Sweden, then upgrade the Bawdy House to deal with everyone's unhappiness. Krakow, let's build you a engineer school. Roads are on the way. Need better mines. Port in Sweden. I mean, Sweden's going to be starting to earn us bank. I wonder, I mean, ultimately, is it? How high is it in our regions? Yeah. Second behind Berlin. Berlin could definitely be growing faster. It's growing at 75 a turn. Sweden's only, only growing at 51 per turn. Well, you've got good roads. I mean, might drop a few units of line, a couple of units of line just to help bolster the garrison here. Right, but now we want to do our... I mean, that reinforcing army is not very good. Drop them out of... Take them out of here. Drop them off the coast. Get back into the port. We're going to attack Copenhagen with a good amount of support. I mean, this reinforcing army is a bit pants. There's lots of really poor artillery units. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of Denmark. Cheers everyone.